G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys something that's finally arrived that I've been waiting a number of weeks for. So let's just get straight into it. All right guys, so something arrived today. My three five foot long aquariums. They're here, finally, on the stands. I love how they look. I was so glad I went with the black silicon. It just, they look so much better, I think. Uh, something about them just makes them pop a little bit. And uh, I'm really pleased I did, because all the tanks on this side have black silicon. These tanks that I got a couple months back, as you can see, they have black silicon, and I wanted all the tanks on this side of the fish room to match as much as possible. So that's why I've gone with the black silicon instead of the uh, clear silicon they usually find on aquariums. Now, like I said, these tanks are five foot long. They're also 45 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters high. So that also matches the dimensions of these tanks. These tanks are 45 centimeters wide and 40 centimeters high. So they match dimensions with uh, width and height. So, you know, it looks uniform in the fish room. The only difference is obviously the length uh, and that this stand is standing out a little bit in front of these stands. And that's because unfortunately in this fish room, I've got these supporting beams that uh, hold out my house uh, roof that run through the fish room. And uh, because of that, I had to have this stand a bit forward, but that's okay. <clears throat> I've still got a lot of room here. You can see I could stand in front of my first rack and I can fit with this uh, 16 mil lens on my DSLR, to fit the five foot length tanks in the frame. And this is a pretty narrow fish room. So I'm quite happy I'm able to shoot this way because I'm hoping to film a lot of footage for you guys uh, of the fish in these tanks and the progress I make with these tanks. And that includes uh, plumbing them up, uh, cleaning them first of all, uh, testing them for, for leaks, because I haven't done that yet, uh, and then plumbing them up to the system and stocking them with fish. So a lot to do with these tanks, uh, but I want to get as much done as possible, uh, as quickly as possible, because I really need to move some of my fish from this rack into these tanks. Because I've got a lot of fry coming through, and that's a good problem to have. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do now, the first thing I'm gonna do on these tanks is vacuum them. There is some glass dust that is in the aquariums, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm gonna vacuum that up as best as I can. Then I'm gonna fill the tanks up, test obviously for leaks again, and then siphon them out. And with that siphon, I'll be siphoning out as much of that dust that the vacuum cleaner couldn't get out. And then I'll be filling them up again, treating the water, and then hopefully hooking it up to my sump system on this side of the room as a temporary measure. Because I want the same water parameters that are in this sump system on these tanks. Now I'm most likely just going to be using the top two tanks. I might be leaving the bottom tank for a while until I do a sump system on this rack. So that might be, a, it might be a couple months before I actually use this aquarium, unfortunately, but we'll see how we go out. Maybe I'll put a canister filter on it as a temporary measure and run it as an individual tank. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet uh, because ideally, this, all these aquariums are gonna be set up on, a, their, on a, their own sump system as well. So uh, it's gonna only be a temporary measure that these top two tanks will be connected up to this sump uh, until I can get a sump and uh, on this system and then plumb it all together. So for a couple months, these two tanks will be running off this sump. But anyway, like I said, I've got a lot to do, clean these tanks up and test them for leaks. So this week's video is a bit of a short one. 
especially when you compare it to last week's Mammoth video and my full fish room tour for the year 2022, where I went in depth about every fish tank in the fish room, hour and a half long video. I'll also include a lot of tips in that video and how I run and maintain the entire fish room. So if you haven't seen that video, I do suggest you watch that video as well. And the day I'm filming this video, the James Webb Space Telescope has successfully fully deployed. I can't believe that feat of engineering and I can't wait to see what the images are gonna look like in the next few months once the telescope cools down enough. And that's why I'm wearing my NASA t-shirt today to celebrate that achievement. But there you have it guys, the three five foot aquariums. I can't wait to stock them full of fish and I'm looking forward to sharing that experience with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.